What's up Clown Gamers? My name is Sunny, and today we have a pretty big topic to cover. We don't have a lot of Stadia news, but this one's a big one. We have rumors of GTA 5 making its way onto Stadia, and I wanted to give this one a few days before I reported it to see if more information leaked out. We also have a confirmed release date for Super Hot Mind Control Delete and more APK insights from 9 to 5 Google as Stadia is working on pre-orders and text messaging within Stadia. But as always, if you guys have haven't already, I do daily videos of Stadia and Cloud Gaming, as well as live streams every Saturday and other days. So be sure to be subscribed to this channel if you haven't already, hit that notification bell to know when my videos go live, and smash that thumbs up if you don't mind cause it's really helpful. But this was odd news when I first heard it because the website Rockstar Mag, a full French website, came out of nowhere to report to the world that GTA 5 is headed to Stadia, and the translation here is as follows. According to our information, in addition to the PS5 and Xbox Series X versions, Rockstar is preparing a hashtag Stadia version of GTA 5, which would be scheduled for announcement and release in the coming weeks and months before or at the same time as on the PS5 and Xbox Series X. Content next gen would also be present exclusively on Stadia. And another quote here was mentioned in response to all this. From what I heard a few days ago, a GTA 5 outing on Google Stadia would be planned soon. I don't know yet if the release will be at the same time as on the PS5 and Xbox Series X or if it could be done sooner, but that seems to be well planned. Also, the person who leaked this was asked once again about it and he said he completely trusted his sources in regards to GTA 5 coming to Stadia. So there we have it folks, talk about a huge rumor and if this was something that we can even trust from this website. But the guy seems really confident. Now there is quite a bit to unpack here. I've always been under the impression that porting over to Stadia would be really difficult since it's such an older game and the tech that made the original title is so outdated that it would just be too hard to port to Stadia. But my question was actually answered within this tweet because it goes on to mention that this would be a next gen port which is pretty massive in itself. GTA 5 is one of the most sold games in history and it would be a potential system seller in regards to Stadia. Imagine playing the next gen version of GTA 5 on the go anywhere. This could be a huge selling point for Stadia, especially if it's true it would have content exclusively for Stadia. But I hate to be the guy that bursts your bubble if you're excited about GTA 5 on Stadia. None of this is officially confirmed, so like always we have to engage this information with caution on this news. But it's not 100% far-fetched, as we know Red Dead is on Stadia and Rockstar has supported the platform. If they have liked what they've seen in regards to sales or support of how Red Dead has done on Stadia, GTA 5 coming to the platform makes a lot of sense and with news of there actually being next-gen ports of GTA 5, it being on Stadia once again furthers the theory that GTA 5 can come to Stadia. This is a next-gen platform, and the possibilities of the uniqueness of being on a platform that has the ability to be on anything amplifies what I feel the appeal of having this game on a Stadia. Now, the last thing to know with all this GTA 5 rumors is that this individual mentioned that we could be hearing the announcement in the coming weeks and month, and that the Stadia version could release soon. All that right there to me felt a little bit discouraging because when do we ever see Stadia ever release something this big sooner than anyone else? A next-gen port of GTA 5 before other platforms seems way unrealistic from the history that we've seen so far. But man, this would be insane and huge, and you would see thousands of people trying Stadia to play a next-gen version with possible exclusive Stadia content. I don't want to hype you guys up more than I already have, but let's make sure that as a collective whole we do manage our expectations until we get an official announcement of this game and an official release date. But we'll be seeing this, and I'll keep you guys updated.
Right, and moving on to the rest of the news here, 9to5 Google has done another APK insight where they dive into the lines of codes to find out what Stadia is working on for the future. And they are always on the money on these things as the past week they discovered some lines that talked about pre-ordering games on Stadia. Something that we haven't had since the launch and something that's a bit odd not to have on a gaming platform. They found some lines here with an action button to pre-order before release and other lines related to the same thing. This might not seem like a big deal to some of you, but what I'm hoping that this does is gives us a bit more transparency in regards to having uh, titles released and having an idea of when some of these bigger AAA titles are coming. So I hope this gets rolled out pretty soon. And the other thing they found was a continued line of code where there is a built-in messaging system within Stadia. And this is going to be key because as I suspect, a big part of the rollout of Stadia is hitting more countries who will mostly be playing Stadia Mobile. And the ability to message each other and team up is going to be really important to the health of this platform. So all this was really cool to see and I am hoping that we see both of these released pretty soon. Alright, and moving on to the last piece of news here, we have Super Hot Mind Control Delete. The sequel to Super Hot is making its way onto Stadia on the 18th of August. And this was interesting because this game was given free to everyone who purchased the original Super Hot. So if you happen to be someone who did that and you didn't claim the game under the free pro membership, you're actually guaranteed to receive this title on the 18th. For the rest of us who have it under the pro membership, there is no confirmation if we are getting it free ourselves or if we're going to have to pay. My guess is we are going to have to pay, but I've been wrong about these things plenty of times before, so stay tuned and I'm looking forward to playing this soon. With all that said though, let me know your thoughts on the GTA 5 rumors possibly coming to Stadia on this video. Would you guys buy this one on day one? Do you think it would be a boon for Stadia? And would you think that more people would join the platform because of this? Any and all thoughts on all of this, let me know. Hit that like button if you can, I'd appreciate it. And sub to the channel for more Stadia coverage. As always, I'm Sunny, and I'll see you guys in the cloud.